Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. This presentation is about Just Faith Ministries' new pathways. We are excited to offer and share these pathways with you. This is an opportunity for folks who are familiar with Just Faith Ministries to share what they know in a different format. Gather your friends and family and invest in these pathways into our programs. We hope you've had a chance to be on our website and learn more about the pathways. We're going to, this presentation is offered for you to learn more. If you have questions after viewing this, please contact Vic, our engagement associate, at vic, V-I-C, at justfaith.org. Our program director, Joe Grant, is going to open us in prayer. Welcome. We begin this presentation as we begin all things in our work, in our ministry, by coming into full presence. So I invite you, wherever you find yourself, to be present in that place, in that moment, in that space, to feel the air, fill your lungs, and to receive it and return it, to feel the earth, the ground, beneath your feet. And as you breathe, become aware of the great gift that it is to be here and to be present in the now. And this meditation is used in one of our new pathways. So I invite you to pray with me. We have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten who we are. We have alienated ourselves from the unfolding of the cosmos, become estranged from the movements of the earth, turned our backs on the cycle of life, for we have forgotten who we are. We have sought only our own security, exploited simply for our own ends, distorted our knowledge, abused our power, for we have forgotten who we are. So now the land is barren, the waters poisoned, the air polluted, because we have forgotten who we are. And now the forests are dying, and the creatures are disappearing, and the humans are despairing, that we have forgotten who we are. So today, we ask forgiveness. We ask for the gift of remembering. We ask for the strength to change and be changed and be the children of God that we are. Amen. So, <clears throat> We're offering this year something new, something surprising, something extraordinary. Something that is offering a pathway for those who know us to bring those who don't into the work that we do. For ours is a work of transformation. Just Faith Ministries offers um, processes and programs that invite people to broaden and deepen their relationships with life, with faith, with the world around them. And we engage people who are anxious and eager for change, for depth and breadth, people in motion, people whose hearts are set on God's unfolding reign, a reign of mercy, a reign of justice that is offered to all people, a vast community, of faithful people. And our programs employ a unique alchemy, a secret sauce, if you like, of elements that when combined um, encourage that kind of movement toward transformation. Our programs invite people into prayer that is deep, prayer that is an experience of both the intimacy and the infinity of God's love. 
we call people into dialogue to learn how to listen to one another, to listen to God who speaks in nature, in our neighbor, in our maker's own voice, to dialogue. We invite participants to move beyond what is familiar and comfortable, to move out and encounter Christ present in this world among those that we know and those that we don't and to be changed by that encounter. And we challenge people to discern our own call, our own unique call in times like these, to live our faith, to live into God's love, to live as children of God. And then we offer people resources and directions that will engage that energy, that passion, that desire to change and be changed. And this, uh, these elements are elements that we also offer in our new pathways. And we also want to um, use as a springboard for our work two extraordinary opportunities that are presented to us today at this time. Pope Francis has inaugurated an extraordinary year of mercy, a year of jubilee, and challenged us to bring forgiveness to this world, to receive forgiveness freely and bring it to life in this year of mercy. And additionally, he has offered us a new framework for our work of peace and justice, a framework or a paradigm that brings together the cries of creation with the cries of those who suffer in our world today. These two opportunities we um, will be using as as um, a springboard for our new pathways. So we're offering three distinct pathways. The first one we're calling Gather and Go. And this is a two-hour format that takes place in the intimacy of a small circle of family and friends, ideally in someone's home. Uh, the two-hour session employs dialogue and prayer, reflection, sharing, and invitation to engagement, as we said. And, um, and it has two different formats, two different versions. One has the theme of mercy, taking mercy to heart. The other's theme, taking care of our common home, investigates the implications and challenges of uh, living faithfully into Laudato Si, the Pope's new message. Um, each of them will apply a different scripture. The first scripture will focus on Jesus' encounter with the woman caught in adultery and is challenged to the people who wish to condemn to put down their stones and receive forgiveness. The second um, um, a scripture for taking care of a common home, um, we meet Jesus um, encountering the barren fig tree and his invitation to give it one more year to cultivate and bring life to fruit, to fruition. So with these two scriptures, we investigate, we share, and we open up our lives to the challenge of taking mercy to heart, taking care of our common home in a short two-hour intimate format, gather and go. The second of our pathways exists in one format only, and it's called Mercy at the Margins. This is a four-hour pilgrimage. Those familiar with our work will know that all of our programs invite people to move out of the safe confines of, of the parish or school or, or home campus and into the world to meet, to encounter, to be touched by life around us. The pilgrimage, uh, Mercy at the Margins, invites a small group of people over the course of four hours to move out of the familiar and to um, be present to two different realities in their locale, in the neighborhood, or in their city or county. One which um, is, a, is an illustration of both the devastation and the needs of the environment. And the second, which is an illustration of the human needs in our world, in our local area. And at these sites, to bear witness, to stand, and to hold open the invitation to meet mercy at those margins of our lives. It's a four-hour spiritual journey that has two sites that people visit with dialogue, with reflection, with prayer, with a call to engagement. Mercy at the margins. 
the next and third of our pathways is actually a one-day retreat, an eight-hour day of reflection. And this is themed around the paradigm and uh, the possibilities offered by Pope Francis's Laudato Si message that invites us to look at Earth as God's gift and our brothers and sisters as Christ present to us and look at that and examine how we live together in one common home. Um, the the eight-hour retreat involves prayer. It involves exercises that, that are shared together. It invites people then to further investigate the longer journey of what it means for us for the sake of our children and our children's children to begin to embrace the kind of conversions that are called for for us to be faithful in times like these and to embrace the gift of this one common home. That's an eight-hour retreat offered by Just Faith Ministries. And this retreat really sets up and invites people to consider the longer journey of conversion and perhaps building and deepening that community that had gathered on retreat and embracing a renewed version of the Just Faith program. And so we're going to um, um, actually take our key or central program, which is called Just Faith, and we're going to reframe the program around the paradigm of the cry and needs of creation, the cry and needs of God's people in times like these. So we're calling it Encouraging a Culture of Care. It will be in many levels the same Just Faith program people are familiar with, with many of the same challenges to study, to share, to investigate, to explore, to go on immersions, to have retreats, the same phases, some of the same readings, but the paradigm will include the, uh, the challenges of environmental justice and their impact on people who are poor today. So it connects care for the planet with care for those who are poor. Just faith, encouraging a culture of care, 24 sessions. So those are our new pathways. The promise at the end is the invitation to revisit the Just Faith program, which has been renewed. Those who are familiar with the Just Faith program, perhaps did it three or five or seven or maybe ten years ago. And as you know, in the past three, five, seven, or ten years, so much has changed in our world. So we invite you to consider revisiting that program and using the pathways to bring friends or family or members of your faith community into the programs that we know um, invite the opportunity for transformation and bring so much good to life. So if there are questions about these programs, we have already tried to anticipate them with these FAQs. And the first FAQ or frequently asked question is how do I prepare to host a pathway? If you're familiar with our work, you'll know that we offer comprehensive resources that invite you step by step, that guide you through the process so that you can both host or facilitate while you participate. Preparing means finding the place, identifying the people. For the first two pathways, for the um, gather and go, we recommend between five and 10 people, no more than 10, because there's a, a two hour framework in which to share uh, deeply from the heart. For the mercy of the margins, likewise, five to 10 people. For logistical purposes, it's easier to gather that group of people and to move um, out um, into the world. For the retreat, the opening is between 5 and 15 people because it's 8 hours. So looking at the materials, identifying the supplies, um, there will be on the, um, on the web page for these short video introductions that will explain the simple things that you will need to put together one of our new pathways. A second question, do I have to host these in my home? Of course, the first gather and go formats um, are really suited for a home environment because it's the intimacy of possibly a meal to, to precede or follow the experience, to build community, the opportunity to have that deep and enriching uh, dialogue. And, and the, the home environment um, is, is um, a great opportunity to do that. For the mercy of the margins, it can begin at a home, and the retreat can also be held in a home if it's spacious. But the other two formats ideally um, would, lead, would need a larger space particularly the retreat since it's eight hours long. You might want to consider a room in your faith community or your, your church, your parish. 
or perhaps a retreat centre or someone has a lodge or someone has a very spacious home with ground to let people have the space for reflection. So they don't have to be in the home, but we recommend for gather and go that the home format will work best. The next question, does a host need to be a past Just Faith program participant or facilitator? Um, for those who host and facilitate, it's really helpful to have already experienced one of our programs. You don't have to have facilitated. These are not as complex as running an entire program. So if you've been a participant, it will help. And we also um, are deliberately inviting people to consider these as pathways into our programs so it helps to have experience with Just Faith Ministries. If you are a facilitator, you'll find these relatively easy and accessible. If you haven't facilitated, we hope that these will not be too burdensome. So yes, it does help to have participated or and or facilitated in our program. Can I invite people who have never participated in a Just Faith Ministries program? Yes, that is ideally the goal, that these, these um, allow you, in a sense, to have your own brief ministry and, and invite people into your home or your parish community who have not had the experiences that you have had with Just Faith Ministries. And in a, an accessible way to share the, the, the beauty of that kind of dialogue. It's so rare today to find places where people can gather for depth and enriching experiences um, that call out the best in us. And if you um, have the capacity to bring family members or friends, members of your faith community in, that's ideally what these are for. The next question is, what is the difference between the two gather and go offerings? I tried to cover that earlier in saying that one has a definite focus on mercy and the year of mercy. The second has its own unique focus on environmental justice and the paradigm of Laudato Si that calls us to care for those who are sorely afflicted and those environments in which they live. Um, where do the pilgrimages occur? Well, there's two sites that represent two, those two dimensions of our lives, one being the natural dimension, which is related to human suffering and sometimes is devastated by human activity. And the second is whether it's human suffering. And those who are familiar with our work will know that when we're called to the margins, we recognize that those people who suffer and, um, and live on the edge often live in environments that are devastated. So those are the two um, sites that we offer suggestions and guides for what they might be in your own area so that you can either identify two places in which to take your retreat or your pilgrimage on the street. Next question. I want to do more than one pathway. Should I do them in a certain order? We hope that you will consider doing more than one of these, especially since the gather and go formats are so accessible and, and enriching that you might then want to move into some of the other um, more challenging or demanding formats. Um, there is no specific order required of this. You can begin with the retreat and then um, after the retreat invite people to come back and perhaps do the, the pilgrimage or or one of the two gather and go formats or both. Um, you can start with the gather and go format and do it the other way around. But really there is no specific order that these have to be done in. The last question on this page is should I do these pathways instead of a program. Well, as you know, and those who have done our programs, it takes time. It takes time to build community. It takes time to open a heart um, to change. It takes time to discern what is that call for, for us individually and as a community to engage in the restorative work of God's justice. So these pathways are pathways, not programs. They are, they are teasers. They are starts. They are tastes of what is to come, they do not replicate or replace the possibilities and potential of a program. But they offer people a doorway in. So we hope that um, you will not, people will not simply use them as an alternative to doing one of our programs because it takes longer for that deeper and wider transformation to happen. Thank you, Joe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now that you are excited and ready to do those pathways, we're going to tell you how to make that happen. The first question, how much does each pathway cost? So the gathering goes are priced at $10 each. If you decide to do one, you're just paying $10. If you want to do both, you're going to do $20.
the host is the person who we expect will be purchasing the material. Um, and that is true for each of these. Mercy at the margins, the pilgrimage is $20 per group, but again, it's one person making that purchase. The retreat, our common home, is $100. Now that is a cost that we expect people can um, share the cost of that with their group, but it is $100 per group. The next question, when will the materials be available for purchase? On Monday, February 1st, we will have them available on the website. So if you've been on the page, you know that there are things there now, um, but you can't buy anything yet. As on Monday, on February 1st, they will be available for purchase. The next question, do I have to pay each time I host? No, you don't. Once you've purchased the product, you have a, it's a PDF um, that will be sent to you after you buy it, and it's yours to use as many times as you like. How do I access the Pathway materials? Again, you're going to go to the website, um, justfaith.org backslash pathways, and the materials will be up on February 1st, and what will happen is you will purchase them, and you will immediately get an email with the, the document in that email. And, and they're just downloadable PDFs that you would then use. What materials do participants receive? There are no handouts or books associated with, for the participants associated with the programs. You, or with the pathways, you will, <clears throat> the one thing that you're gonna offer each participant is an invitation from Just Faith Ministries. At the end of each, um, PDF is a document that allows <clears throat> for you to duplicate to give to each of your participants that has a website on it or it's, it's part of our website it's a landing page for each of the pathways that has additional material on it um, as a resource for them for going through that pathway and and hopefully um, wanting to learn more so on those pages for each of the, the four offerings will be a meditation and um, a resource that they can print and have for themselves and share with others. So that's so material. Participants do not receive additional materials. Next question: Will I need to capture participant information for Just Faith Ministries? As you know, in our programs, we do ask for roster information. We want to know who's participating, um, and people create user accounts and things like that. That these are not programs, so we're not doing that the same way. What we're hoping is that folks who participate in the Pathways and are really interested in learning more will accept that invitation and go to those pages and, and complete a just a, a little form of name, email, that kind of thing, to give us more information about who's participating in the Pathways and, and gauge the level of interest that folks may have. So that's the only way that we track participants in the Pathways. And finally, who should I talk to with additional questions about the Pathways? We have an engagement associate, Vic Doucette, who you can reach at vic at justfaith.org, or his phone number, 630-715-5114. You can reach Vic. He's happy to answer any questions you may have about hosting, um, who to invite, how to prepare. If you feel like that you're, you still have some questions around that, you can talk to Vic. And to stay up to date on the new pathways, we ask you to just keep visiting the webpage. We're updating that constantly with new information, and, um, and that is where they will be available on February 1st. We are grateful for your time today and your ongoing interest in our work. Blessings to you.